Hello and welcome back to our Dutch campaign, Dutch Dominion, in uh, May, not Mayo, Texas, fucking, why do I say that all the time, in, um, no it is Mayo, Texas, what am I talking about, what the fuck is wrong with me, yeah, so we're playing Mayo, Texas, of course, my head's all over the place, <laughs> I don't know what's up, alright, but yes, we are gonna go to war with Scotland, France is no longer a valid rival. Does that mean I have no valid rivals? No, it means I have just Turkey. Ugh. Okay. Let's issue an embargo on you. And France, we should probably stop embargo. Oh, we don't have him embargoed anyway. Alright, cool. Right, but you are going to go and sit here. And then these boats are going to go immediately back up here to grab my army. Because, with this being here, I can just walk to these two provinces. And they're both so close to being done, which is kind of fantastic. So I want to get this done probably just around about now. I mean, I could, I could get another claim. I am, what's that, 14 away. I'm getting 1.92 a month. Uh, fuck it, nope. Nope, we're going for it. Portugal... I mean, you just get fucked. We're going after Devon, because why not? Right. You, sir. You're... You need to ask this guy for military access. Three, two... There we go. Free. Ask him for military access. Wait a day. He'll let me. I want to go here. Right. Uh, colonies. You, sir. Recall. But not cancel. You, sir. Recall. But not cancel. Because we're going to have to put him here so it becomes Dutch. Also, on we've killed a few boats, which is always nice. Hirsch, still not core, that's fine. New mission, naval race. I have 126 boats. Holy shit. 57 troops. Prove relations with Oldenburg. Uh, Oldenburg is you. And you're 23. Yeah, I can do I can do that mission, that's fine. Um so improve relation that I'll have to do in a few months. Right, but you're almost sieged. And we'll have you seize the colony. And then we will send our own dude. And then you can go over here. He's not gonna get there immediately, obviously. So that's why we have to do this immediately, rather than waiting. And then you have to seize that. Lovely. This guy's just moving up. Uh, he's, might sink a fleet on the way there. Who knows? The English, they're, they're so weak that they aren't even trying to land an army or even invade my part of England. Kind of pathetic. But this is now mine. I'm going to seize your colony. And I'm going to send a colonist. 50 sailors away. And hopefully that means that... Oh, how, how far are you away? 955? 45 settlers away. You're not going to get 45 settlers in 111 days. So both of those should be Dutch. Should. With any luck. And a wing and a prayer and all that shit too. Anyway, you're going to go and get transported to the island... Land you in Wessex. We'll go kill that Devon army. And then we'll just siege the rest of it. <laughs> oh, very lucrative war. Thank you, Portugal, for being so kind in creating these lovely colonies for me to just steal. I am losing a bit more money on uh, on colonies now. What are we spending? Uh, bum, 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 450. Devon's been cleared of scum and villainy. Uh, let's drop the galleons and then just use the, these boats to blockade. Because one of these needs repairing. Scotland is donating to England. I don't think that's going to be very useful or helpful. Just need to watch out for Portugal and if they are trying anything strange. Well, that's a bit of a shit. Uh, Alright, this is fi almost finished. You can get transported back to the island. Uh, sorry, back to the mainland and go and take care of that. 
uh, family ties, that's cool. World, peasants war, blah blah blah. And we're doing luxury cloth, if I remember correctly. Yes, we are. Luxury cloth. Alright, can you hurry up with the siege? I need your army. The fact that we've got a, um, a fleet here is probably really good for us. It stops them from, you know, getting out and sniping these colonies from me. Loot pool. 15 ducats from their capital. Alright, go pick this army up. 5th of October, fuck it, just landed on the dickhead's head. They're only particularists, so they have pretty low morale. Yeah, 0.75 of my morale. But it's always pretty easy to fight those guys, thankfully. I mean, they're, they're giving a good account of themselves, but yeah, they just couldn't. God damn it. Uh, fish in Ethnuaki. Pretty cool. Right, now they're all dead. Let's uh, continue the sieging of uh, the Great Britain. Oh, sorry, just the England. Right, uh, go to Kurnow, just get that shit out of the way. Or half of you can go to Kurnow, the other half can go to Ganwig. Actually, there's no... There's no fort there, so the un... Yeah, the one without the leader can go and do the easy siege. You, however, are doing okay. You are here, so surely that means the culture is going to flip to Dutch. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that's the case. I guess we'll find out in a couple of months when these finish. No, no, hate there. If you rise up right now, I'm gonna be very pissed off. Target practice. Oh god, why have we got so many peasants and, and everything? What's the rebel situation all about? Like, why? Um, I actually don't have any provinces with unrest, which is kind of new for me. All right, I have Luxembourgian separatists, but they're going down. Yeah, don't know, don't know what the fuck. All of this is pretty easy to take care of as well. I'm not really worried about it. Poland, who has been completely shafted, is doing something. I missed that. Don't really care. It's fine. And surely you finished. February first. Two new colonies, and they are not Dutch. But eh, whatever. Right, you can have your dude back, you can have your dude back, and... Wait a minute. Did I click the... Oh, you fucking fuck! I clicked the bloody red part. What, that? I'm sorry, but this, this is not a good system. Holy shit. Uh, I, I apologize, I don't do this very often, but that, that there, can go fuck itself. I didn't even know there was an abandoned fucking colony button on this new UI, but that, that needs changing, that is stupid, that is dumb. And so yes, I am going to load a bloody autosave, eventually, when, when it decides to load. Because that was fucking stupid. Most saves do tend to take quite some time, and sometimes they crash, so... I hope this doesn't crash, because I did not save... ...between this episode and the last one. Okay, we're good. Oh, That could have been very awkward. Yeah. Apparently that red one means abandon the fucking colony. No, thank you. Oh yeah, also Persh. <laughs> I don't know if that's because of the tick of the month, ha the tick of, you know, all the bullshit hasn't happened yet. I guess we'll see in February 1st. 
Schleswig Holstein's donating to somebody I don't care about. You go blockade there. So yeah, that... I mean, I know it's not good to save scum and all that, but for what is in effect a bullshit mil misclick, I think I can be forgiven. Uh, I don't want to take that. I, I want some more mil... Why, why are we not focusing here? We should be. Also, you should be better. We have a rank 2 guy. A good rank 2 guy. I kind of want you. But you're way too expensive. Yeah, I guess we'll stick with you. I want a, le uh, a level 2 off-price guy. That would be... That would be perfect. Thank you very much. Alright. Both the colonies done. Let us... Click the correct button, which is this one, and then we'll go to Long Island and click the correct button here too. Get Afghan rigs over, lovely. Bunch of fishing ports, lovely. Um, oh, I see some more cores starting here. Oh wow, you're doing a damn good job. You unfortunately cannot core this, the rest of this because you don't actually have access to this land right so it doesn't have a direct line to his capital so he has to have a core on the coast and he doesn't so he can't core this until this is finished coring which is a bit of a shame uh you're doing just fine your capital is kind of trash should I help him out there? I'll give him a commune hall. Fuck it, why not? The better my um, estates are, the the more money they're going to give me. And, I mean, this is a colonial kind of game. Like, this playthrough is colonial in nature. So I do kind of want to do something to that effect. And I think... Yeah, this is probably the way to do it. Also, why is all of the... Oh, no. There's a Latin sailed, sailed caravel here. Good. Uh, yeah, you can have some support, that's fine. I was gonna say, why is there a Latin sail caravel there? Uh, why are they all floats when I just captured a ship? Did he capture a float from me in the previous war? But no, that's not what happened. Which is a shame, because that would be fucking hilarious. Like, give me my ship back, you bastard. Alright, all of my estates are really fucking happy with me. Uh, 20 prestige for the lesser nobles. What are the greater nobles at? 30? No? Also 20. Interesting. I'm gonna do it though, because, I mean, why not? And I can't offer you anything, but I can demand expansion of city citizenship, I can demand the surf conditions, and I can demand the manpower. And I would love to demand that you fuck off. You'd give me seven dudes if I wanted you. Nope, not going to be doing that. Go away. Uh huh. More secularism. Gain 25 tickets. I don't want a West African spiritualist shrine in Godoroda. Go away. As soon as I get enough bloody uh, trade power down there, I'm, I'm going to spread my religion in your land, and you won't have any. So, go to road is this one here. And you are, yeah, West African particularist, but they're Dutch. Dutchmen practicing fucking spiritualist shit is just kind of weird. Is it the same here? Yeah, yeah. Interesting that those became Dutch, but this did not. Oh wait, this this did become Dutch Protestant. How about this one? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Don't know how it became Dutch, but yay. All right, so what is my trade power down here? 18%. That's the only one I can see. Can't see this one, unless that is the same. I, I think it actually is. Oh wait, no, this is Guinea Coast, and this is also Guinea Coast. Okay, so yeah, 18%, I mean at some point I'll be able to, I, have, I already do have a merchant here. Hmm, 
Interesting. All right, we're going to stop trying to spy on the Bretons for now. And we're going to build a spy network in Fanti and try and get uh, vision on this shit. I only need 50. So we'll see what we can do on that front. Austria has gone Protestant. Interesting. Cumberland is over. Lovely. Am I getting like one day siege ticks now? It feels like it. Alright, like three day siege ticks. Uh, solidarity for you. Debate over clerical marriage. Okay, there's another one here. Oh, right, this is the same first paragraph. One of the most pressing issues was whether or not the clergy should be able to marry. Many reformers argued that since early Christian bishops had been instructed to be chosen from married men, there was a strong scriptural evidence to allow clerical marriage. Makes sense to me. This might also help to attract men to the profession who might otherwise be turned away from a life of enforced celibacy, helping to alleviate clerical shortages. On the other hand, cel celibate priests could focus on their faith rather than their families, and also had no motivation to pass on their benefices to their sons. Allow them to marry or no? Well, I mean, that's going to the state religion, so yes. I see no reason why somebody who wants to marry shouldn't be allowed to marry. You can actually go and help. No, never mind, York's done. Uh, do I want to go and invade Ireland? Probably. So everyone go here. There's probably fuck all wealth in Ireland. Um, but... Some English provinces that we want to go and... Take, because look, I mean, we're at 38 war score and we have all of England. So yeah, we're going to have to do something about this, and this is what we do. We invade. Also, Naples is fucking pirating me. Excuse the fuck out of me. Armagnier, Anjou, and Bourbonnet are fucking vassals. Interesting. Not, not going to lie, that's pretty fucking interesting. Not seen that before. And then I, I, I didn't even know that, you know, taking vassals that way, you know, transferring vassals, I thought that was part of the ages thing, and nobody fucking did that. Um, well, I mean, 200 ducats is not worth 20 admin. I know we're kind of struggling on the admin right now, but still, that's, uh... Para's got liberty desire? Why? Why do you have liberty desire? I'm doing so much for you. Fucking negative 200? Oh, you're the receiving subsidies bug. Ah, oh, fuck me. I hate that bug. Uh, that's not my own taxes. That's pure fucking vanilla. Why do I not have a merchant uh, here? Do I get one in the next month? That would be nice. They need to have a hundred population. Well, I mean, they do. They, they absolutely do have a hundred population. So, can I have a merchant now, please? Ay, ay, ay. Shit happening. Alright, you're about to die. That was a very easy thing. Turks have rivaled me. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey, Fitzgerald, you want to be a bro? Remove you for a bit. Fitzgerald, can I have some fucking military access, please? Thank you very much. Very kind of you. Don't know why the hell I should have to bloody walk on boats and shit just to siege this guy. And I might even try and get him to release this Irish stuff. You know, pass Ireland to the Irish. That's the way it goes, right? I don't know. Actually, I'd rather you go to Ubfali. Sorry, Chudamahuminahain. And look at the speed of sieging, it's glorious. What, what are my siege ticks here? Two day siege ticks. Still, it still took me 11 days. Shocking. Alright, go to Galway. Or Goliath. 
strange Irish pronunciations. It's also two days. Yes, it is. And then go and siege this one as well. We've also got man to... That was siege before my troops even got there. Yeah, we've also got man to siege, uh, which is a pain in the ass, but fuck it. That's what we're going to have to do. Man is a part of the Northern England uh, area that we're not going to be taking, so... Meh, don't need it. It does tend to have quite a good mine, but it dries out too quickly. What do you got? Yeah, iron mine. Dries out too quickly in my experience. So giving subsidies to a vassal that has negative income gives you super negative um, relations. It does go away. That's why I've not been... Um, I've not been stopping it when like if you saw that you probably would try and stop it but I haven't been stopping it because it does roll over and then starts getting good again so I'll pay off your debt because you, you're happy and stuff you're still losing money even though oh subsidies is counted in your income Ugh. it's like all of my colonial ventures are failing I mean Taylingen losing shit ton of money para losing money Kirkovan also losing money Oh, fuck me. Why are you losing money? What are your expenses? Army maintenance. I mean, just get rid of your army. Why have you got such a hard, large army? Why do you need six troops? Um. And there's no way I can turn him into scootage either. He's always going to be at war with me. That's so dumb. Um, outgoing tariffs. I mean, I can get rid of that. Colony maintenance, no, it's normal. Interest is 0.21 ducats. Yeah, I mean, majority of his income is my subsidies, and it's not enough. But anyway, 100% at you. So everything that I can take here. And um, that's a coalition of people I don't care about. If I can't take that. If I was to take this... It's still not a huge coalition. I would love to take uh, Hereford as well. Hereford would be 17. Looks like it's going to have to wait until one more war. That's fine. Three, three provinces, your money, your fucking bank insurance, and uh, I don't need you to annul your treaty because that's actually really fucking nice for me. But I will get you to release Thomond and Burke. And Wales would have been a good one. Can't, okay. Thoman and Burke, so I no longer need to... Yeah. Uh, no longer need to go to this part of Ireland. I can just do with this one. Uh, all your money, war reps, all that good shit. And yeah, we can have peace. Marriage, fuck you. England accepts the peace offer. You're occupied by Camerino? Who the fuck is Camerino? What is this? You're at war with this because of why? Defender against Camerino, Camerino's knees, war for independence? Who's the Camerino? Is that this guy? That's Fermo. At Camerino. Oh yeah, that guy. So you declared war for independence from the Pope. The Pope is allied with Spain, or Castile, I guess. Um, and it must have been that Austria has uh, supported the independence, and that's why he's done it. Huh. Unfortunately, the province that I want is uh, here. He could pass it to Alan Con, I guess, if uh, if he was so desiring of that. Although it doesn't look like we're winning. Oh no, this is the Papal States land. Holy shit, Papal State went mental. You know what? It's a good idea to ask this now, right? Um, when this series ends, I'm not saying it's ending soon, but when this series ends in the future, blah blah blah. 
What would you prefer me play as? Papal State. That's Siena. Papal State or Serbia. Those are your options. One of those two I will be playing in the next campaign that I do in Mayo and Texas. So I want, I want your feedback in the comments below. Let me know which one you prefer. And I think I've got a sneaking suspicion which one it's going to be. But who knows? Anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.